Hello children. I hope you all have completed exercise 2.1. Now I am going to explain exercise 2.2. It is based on operations on whole numbers. Children, let's understand operations on whole number. There are four fundamental operations of whole number that you have already studied in your previous class. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. First. Properties of addition. Addition satisfies four properties. First, closer property. Second, commutative property. Third, associative property. Fourth, additive identity. Second, properties of subtraction. Subtraction satisfies only two properties. First, closer property. Second, property of zero. In note, I have written that commutative and associative property does not hold good for subtraction. Properties of multiplication. In multiplication, we can satisfy seven properties. First, closer property. Second, commutative property. Third, associative property. Fourth, multiplicative identity. Fifth, multiplicative with zero. Sixth, distribution property of multiplication over addition. And last, that is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Fourth, properties of division. First, closer property. Second, dividing zero by a whole number. Third, dividing a whole number by one. Fourth, dividing a whole number by itself. In note, I have written that commutative and associative, associative property doesn't hold good in division also. Now let's understand all these properties in detail one by one. Properties of addition. First, closer property. It is stated that if A and B are two whole numbers, then their sum A plus B is a whole number. Now let's understand with this example. For example, 154 plus 215 is equal to 369. Here, 154 and 215 both are whole numbers and their sum that is 369 is also a whole number. This property satisfied with all whole numbers. Second, commutative property. It states that if A and B are two whole numbers, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. As you see, in this property, we have changed only the order of the number. For example, 154 plus 215, the sum of these two numbers is 369. And now, 215 plus 154, the sum of these two numbers is also equal to 369. Third, associative property. It states that if A, B and C are three whole numbers, then A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. As you see, in this property, we can change only the sequence of bracket. For example, 154 plus 215 plus 131. Here, firstly, we will add last two numbers and then we will get 346. Now, we will add this sum with first number that is 154 and we will get 500. In second step, firstly, we will add first two number that is 154 plus 215. After that, we will add 131 with their sum that is 369 plus 131 and we will get 500. As you see, in both steps, we will get the same sum. Fourth, additive identity. If A is a whole number, then A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A. So, 0 is called the additive identity because after addition, it will not affect the whole number. For example, 154 plus 0 is equal to 154 and 0 plus 154 is equal to 154. Now let's understand properties of multiplication. First, closer property. If A and B are two whole numbers, then their product A multiply B is also a whole number. For example, 150 multiplied by 12 is equal to 1800. Here, if 150 is a whole number and 12 is a whole number and their multiplication that is 1800 is also a whole number. Second, commutative property. If A and B are two whole numbers, then A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. For example, 150 multiplied by 12 is equal to 1800 and 12 multiplied by 150 is equal to 1800. In this property, we will only change the order of the whole number and after changing the whole order of the whole number, we will get same multiplication. Third, associative property. If A, B and C are three whole numbers, then A multiply bracket, B multiply C bracket close 
is equal to bracket a multiply b bracket close multiply c in this property we will only change the sequence of the bracket after changing the sequence we will get the same product for example 150 multiply bracket 12 multiply 10 bracket close is equal to 150 multiply by 120 is equal to 18000 secondly 150 multiply by 12 multiply 10 is equal to 1800 multiply 10 is equal to 18000 in this example firstly we will multiply last two numbers and then we have multiply first number and in second example we have multiplied first two number and then we have multiplied last number and from both the sequence of bracket i will get same numbers that is same product fourth multiplicative identity if a is a whole number then a multiply 1 is equals to 1 multiply a is equals to a so 1 is the multiplicative identity for example 150 multiply 1 is equals to 150 and 1 multiply by 150 is equals to 150 fifth property multiplication with 0 if a is a whole number then a multiply 0 is equals to 0 is equals to 0 multiply a that means if we multiply any number with 0 then we will get 0 for example 150 multiply 0 is equals to 0 and 0 multiply 150 is equals to 0 sixth property distributive property of multiplication over addition if a b and c are three whole number then a multiply bracket b plus c bracket close is equals to a multiply b plus a multiply c here we have distributed multiplication sign with addition sign now let's understand with this example 150 multiply bracket 12 plus 38 bracket close is equals to 150 multiply 50 is equals to 7500 second 150 multiply 12 plus 150 multiply 38 is equals to 1800 plus 5700 is equals to 7500 as we see we have got same answer with both multiplication seven distribution property of multiplication over subtraction if a b and c are three whole numbers then a multiply bracket start b minus c bracket close is equals to a multiply b minus a multiply c here i have distributed multiplication sign with subtraction sign now property of subtraction first close the property if a and b are two whole numbers then a greater than b then a minus b is a whole number and if a is equals to b then a minus b is equals to zero it is also a whole number and if a is less than b then a minus b is not a whole number because we have got negative number for example 215 minus 154 is equals to 61 it is a whole number 215 minus 215 is equals to zero it is also a whole number but 154 minus 215 is equals to minus 61 it is not a whole number it is a negative integer second property of zero if a is a whole number then a minus zero is equals to a it is a whole number but zero minus a is equals to minus a it is not a whole number now properties of diffusion first closure property if m and n are whole numbers then m divide n is not always a whole number here two case arises case first if m is greater than n then m divide n is a whole number for example 18 divided by 3 is equals to 6 is a whole number case second if m less than n then m divided n is not a whole number for example 3 divided 18 is equals to 1 upon 6 it is not a whole number second property divided 0 by a whole number if a is a whole number then 0 divided a is equals to 0 and 0 is a whole number third property dividing a whole number by 1 if a is a whole number then a divided 1 is equals to a fourth property dividing a whole number by itself if a is a whole number then a divided a is equals to 1. 